Eh? Imagine, oh, my son's wife beating me up. There is no how you will go back to that house. You, I will show you. Was I supposed to be looking at you when you came into my matrimonial home and started trying my things out? Eh? All because I'm here to give you a grandchild. And I want you, I want you the last time you came to my home to make trouble, not to return. Didn't I? You will go whether you like it or not. And another woman will move into that house. That will be over my dead body. And I have to kill you. I have to. Yes, yeah, so. She cannot continue collecting my son's money without the fruit of marriage. All she knows how to do is a goosey. How to cook a goosey? Cook a bowl of jello fried pepper soup or fried rice. But give me a grandson. No. Buy expensive handbag and jewelry. Yes. You. I will do it. Ah, hey, Madam, Madam, please. Ah, you will have to stop moving so I can clean your wound properly. Thank you. Thank you, my daughter. You're, you're bleeding seriously. Thank you. I wonder what the both of you were thinking. Fighting each other to the extent of sustaining such injuries. Look at you. Your arm is dislocated. I oh, might have to refer you to an orthopedist. Thank God. I was only acting on self-defense, so. Eh? She just came into my home and started throwing my things out. And when I tried to stop her, she started hitting me. And she slapped me real hard. Look at my face now, eh? And you hit your old back. And you broke my head. See my head? You broke my head. You cannot marry my son again. You are just wasting your time. I am the mother of that boy. I will show you. Mm -hmm. I'm not leaving my matrimonial home for anything in this world. Eh? Yes. We shall see. Eh, madam. We shall see. 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 Madam. We shall see. We shall see. Madam. Eh, the young madam says at reception that brought you guys in. Who is he? Is your husband, right? Yes. He's my son. So where was he when you guys were fighting each other like this? In the house, of course. He was too confused to do anything. I don't have option that to defend myself. Mm. That's what I'm saying, no. Defender. You know what I'm saying. That's my daughter's. Okay, sorry. Clinic matters. Keep watching. Uh, nurse, please. But how are they? How would you allow your wife and your mother fight each other so bad? <laughs> nurse. I tried to stop them. Eh? I told my mother not to throw my wife's load out, but she wouldn't listen to me. And I told my wife to be patient with my mother, but she was too annoyed to listen to me. Eh? Please, how is their condition now? The nurses are taking care of them. Eh? Mm. We need to carry out an extra on them to make sure no internal injuries occur. Eh? Mm. Hey. Well, in the meantime, you have to deposit 30,000 naira before we can commence any treatment. Hey. After the extra, We'll take it out from there. Eh, I'll run to the bank now and uh, get the money. Eh? Eh, but eh, don't you think it's necessary to go in and see them now? No, it's not. Go and get the money first. Eh, mm. eh, okay. Uh, I'll be right back. What's happening? Hmm? Eh, eh, those two women where they carry enter. Now, what thing happen? <laughs> they fought and injured each other. Ah. Eh, what thing cause their fight? They married two men and the same one. If they were married to the same man, their story would have been better. But one is a wife and one is the mother. The mother is sending the woman to pack out of her son's house because she's not giving her a grandchild. Ah, ah, ah. No why people they behave like this, eh? Now the woman they provide children. Eh? Why people not the one to understand say God time is best. Uh, when you are married to a man that cannot protect you as a wife, you're exposed to different harassment from pe different people. Hey, alone. God. Now give me mother in law, where you go, they harass me. Mm -mm. Your prayer should be God shouldn't give an immature man as a husband. I'm you. I'm here. 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 I'm and I would want to be discharged as soon as possible so I can go home. Which home? If you are referring to your parents' house, no problem. But if it is my son's house you are talking about, you are just deceiving yourself. My son cannot marry you. You are a man. Let my son look for a wife and get married too. When you are tired of sleeping there, you go to your family house. Nonsense. Please, Jay, do all you can to ensure that I'm discharged, okay? When the doctor comes, you'll be able to tell you that precisely. Huh? Thank you. We shall Thank see. You. I saw cannot marry you. I don't waste your time.
issue of mother-in-law is a very serious one. That woman is so, so troublesome. God, I don't pray to have such a mother-in-law that will victimize me in my matrimonial home. The wife is the one that needs to excite more patients. I mean, she should learn to control her anger and tolerate her mother-in-law. She shouldn't have eat her mother-in-law no matter what. So who are you saying she should have allowed the woman to throw her things out of her matrimonial home? Not that. But there are other ways of handling issues like this. Aside getting physical with her. <laughs> As for me, I don't blame the mother-in-law and I don't blame the wife either. The only person I blame in this show of shame is the husband. The man of the house. Why should he allow his mother to victimize this woman so hard? I will never marry a mommy's boy. You. you can't blame the husband totally. I mean, some situations are very difficult to control. Then he's not a man. What makes a man is not just the ability to put a woman under your roof as a wife, but also to protect her from any harassment from anybody, including his mother. Me, I've not seen such a thing in my entire life. Oh. Fighting a son's wife as though they are rivals. Hi. Please just leave them alone and let them live their life, I beg. The wife needs to exercise more patience. Then the man should stand up to his responsibilities and caution his mother. You're welcome. Eh? Thank you. Yes, I have the money you requested here with me. Eh? But no, please, I want you to take very good care of my mommy and my wife. Eh? You know I love both of them very well. I noticed. <laughs> but I also think it's high time you talk to your mother to allow you to make decisions in your marriage. It's your home. Eh? No. Hey. I don't want to offend my mommy at all. Hey. That is why I don't talk to her anyhow. I don't want to disrespect her. I'm not advising you to talk to her anyhow or disrespect her. <laughs> I just said tell her in plain language to stop victimizing your wife. Make her understand she has no rights whatsoever to throw your wife out of your house. Ah! Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I'll try and tell her that. Don't uh, try. That's what makes you a man. Protect your wife. Protect her. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll protect my wife. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let me give them this food I bought for them. Then when I come back, I'll settle the bill. Uh, Okay. Well, that's okay. <laughs> hey, sweetheart, how are you feeling? Where did you go since? Uh, I went to get uh, some money uh, to pay the bill and then buy some food for you and mommy to eat. Eh? So, uh, why don't you get up and eat? Are you well at all, Joe? You came in here and walked straight to the woman that fought with your mother. And you saw me here lying critically injured. Eh? I'm ashamed of you. Hey, but, mommy, I'm sorry. Eh? Eh, actually, I was about to... What are you trying to do? Nothing. Let me take my own first. Hey. Hey. If you allow her eat before me in this hospital, there will be one or two. Bring my food. I am your mother. If you give your wife food before me, there will be war here. Uh, honey, <laughs> please. Uh, hey. uh, why don't you let mommy take the food first now? Mm. Uh, I am your wife. <laughs> and since you don't know how to fight for me, I'll just have to start fighting for myself. And you have to be pleased with whichever way I do it. <laughs> take this thing I beg and give to her. Hey. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> mommy. <laughs> Here is your food. <laughs> if, you bring, if, if you bring that leftover food here, I will break your head. You now gave the woman, a married woman, that cannot even produce a child, over your mother. Eh? Don't let me call you a bastard, Joe. Don't let me call you a bastard. She's a married woman. Thank God you know it yourself. Stop calling me barren. Stop calling me barren, no, madam. Or, or whatever you call yourself. Stop calling me barren. Ah! Let's respect ourselves. Disrespect me! I said disrespect me. You cannot do more than what you have done before. Disrespect me! Oh, disrespect me! Hmm. For my village, ah, then they call that woman and allow the lesson. Ah, see, fat where where? If you see her leg, eh, it be like an elephant. Ah, the woman fat, not be small. When the husband can say he won't go marry another woman, put for us. Now you let her can say, hey, for where? For my front, it not go happen. Now you see you can't. Okay. No, please, eh? Uh, my wife. And my mommy are beginning to abuse each other again, please. Eh? Come and help me stop them. Eh? Mr. John, eh? how old are you? Eh? 
You know what I'm trying to insult you? But out of curiosity, how old are you? I'm trying to know. No, Abigail, what? I'm sorry, don't mind us, sir. But don't you think you're in a better position to control the situation? Hey, I tried talking to them, but they wouldn't listen to me. Please, come and help me. Even you sit then. <laughs> Thank you. Must have been mm -hmm. Let's go together. No, I'm home. I beg. I'm busy. Eh? I'm busy. Um, let's go together, Must have Thank you. Hey. What kind of dummy husband is this? Eh? If this was to be the last man on earth, I'd rather remain single. Ah, ah. If you miss her, I don't feel my room. Ah, ah. Hey, but you be like, say, this man, in case you not be ordinary, I'll be, you be like, say, then, yes, sir. I don't think so. I just think this man is a fool. He's a big fool. Eh? Hmm. Now just then, just so. She. And the both of you have to stop shouting. Mm. They're not the only patients in this hospital. Oh. <laughs> See, please just help me warn her. Let her leave my son alone. It is not by force now. There are so many men out there. Go and look for another husband and get married too. Leave Joy alone for me. You have no right whatsoever to drive me out of my matrimonial home. Eh. Yes. Okay. I respect you so much and you know it. Oh, and I regret ever having a woman like you as a mother-in-law. You respect me and you broke my head. You wouldn't respect yourself. Please help me tell her to leave my son alone. She cannot marry my son anymore. And it is not too much to ask as a mother. Please leave Joe alone for me. Eh? Woman. Mr. Joe, say something now. I don't know what to say now. Eh? What can I say? We have to put the both of you in the same ward. Right. Because we don't have a vacant ward. But as it is now, we have to work out something for the sake of peace. Eh? Uh, no, City, yeah. please, you have to arrange on how to move one of them to another ward and bring in another patient here. That's a very good idea. So, which one of you would leave this place for another ward? Fine, I'll forget this one for you. Mm, no. But for my matrimonial home, no. Mm. And in case you want to know, I've been unable to give you a grandchild because your son has been unable to get me pregnant, and that is because he has a low sperm count. <laughs> Sweetheart, huh? we agreed to keep this thing in secret now, eh? and we'll find a lasting solution to it now. Eh? You didn't have to tell them about it now. Eh? Huh? Can you imagine? <laughs> Joe? Uh, is that true? Uh, yes, mommy, but, but she's not supposed to say it took me until we find a solution to it now. Sorry. Oh. I am finished. You must kill me. Clinic matters. Keep watching. What? How can any woman get married to such a complete empty bin? Eh? He's dull, he's not smart, he's a mommy's boy, he can never get a lady pregnant. Ah ah! Love is indeed very, very foolish. The woman that knows her son is the one with the problem. Let's see if she will still want the wife to leave. If I were the woman, I wouldn't have waited this long to tell my mother in law the truth about the situation. She was only trying to keep an agreement between herself and her husband. I would do the same for the man I love. I can never love a dummy, I can't. Ha! Look at what she has passed on. Sorry, I didn't mean to be wicked to you. You know we used to be best of friends. I'm sorry. I never knew my son has this problem. I'm very sorry. It's okay, stop crying. Sorry. I'm still with him because I love him. Sorry. I'm ready to stay with him until we find solutions. He never told me. I'm just sorry for the first time. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. How is your arm? It's too hot. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, sorry no, 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 Don't you think it's 
this is true, I check on them. No, it's not. Go and get the money fast. Uh, Go now. Okay, I'll be right back. Of course, I'm out. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, don't you think it's necessary I check in on them? No, it's not. Go and get the money fast. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, don't you think it's necessary I go in and check on them? No, it's not. Go and get the money fast. Uh. <laughs> Why people now they won't understand, say, that nah, God time is best. If you are married to a man that does not now take care of your heart. Action. If you are married to a man that cannot protect you as a wife, you are exposed to different danger from different people. <laughs> you are exposed to what? Action. When you are married to a man that cannot protect you as a wife, God, now let me get in a mother in a way they harass me. Mm -mm. Your prayer should be let God not give you a man that is immature. Uh, uh, me, oh. As a husband. Uh -huh. <laughs> God, now give me mother in law where God will ask me. Mm -mm. Your prayer should be God shouldn't give you an email. Let me call my uh, uh, Nurse, please. Eh? My wife and my mommy are beginning to abuse each other again. Please, eh? Come and help me stop them. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Eh? My wife and my mommy, uh, they are beginning to abuse each other again. Eh? Eh? Please come and help me stop them. Mr. Cho, eh? how old are you? Right? What's that about my Eh? Ah ah! Let's go! Axel! And the poor woman, I like the lesson for my village. The woman, your eh? Nurse, eh? Please, eh? My wife and my mommy. I'm beginning to abuse each other again. Please, eh? Come and help me stop them. Mr. Joe. Eh? How old are you? Eh? How old are you? <laughs> hey! <laughs> 